Okay, so uh, the first part, uh, we're going to paint the stocking. It's upside down, but that's okay. Um, so I've already primed it in white. I've already painted it with latex paint. I sprayed it uh, with my new paint sprayer from Harbor Freight uh, that I got. Um, they used to have a crappy one uh, at, Har at Harbor Freight. It was like black and whatever. This one is blue. Um, it's like a teal, like a dark teal and gray. Um, and it's a lot better than the other electric one they used to have. It's quieter. Um, it sprays better and it's way easier to clean. It actually comes apart in a couple of pieces. So um, I'll put a link to it and I'll show a picture, I'll show a picture or video of it here in a minute. But um, so I was able to spray that in white so that I don't have to, um, I didn't have to latex paint, you know, with, with like a brush, but now I can spray paint it. Um, it's easier to spray paint, uh, cause I don't have red anymore. When I moved, I got rid of some of my paint and I used to have red and green. Um, and so now I do need to go get a can of, or, a, you know, a latex can of green and red, um, just so I have it around, but I just didn't want to spend the money on it right now. And this was like 15 bucks cheaper than getting a gallon of paint, um, that was mixed that would have been good for outside so i'm gonna do this so we're gonna paint that and then we're gonna cut the hole for the the numbers while we're waiting for the stocking to dry so i can cut the hole out we've installed the uh, screen out here um i even did it a little bit differently than years past um there was like a little slit somewhere around in here but i actually found that this fabric is pretty porous to a zip tie <laughs> so I don't have to cut anything at all I just poked it through the fabric and went along the outside of it there um, and then of course it's zip tied up here as well um, because these little um, velcro things would not go all the way around and and hit themselves on the other side um, so this is this thing going nowhere we had like 40 mile an hour winds today I didn't have this up yet but it would have been a good trial for it um, maybe eventually I'll paint this black but uh, I also put up, I'm getting, getting ready to do the projector part of it, but I have to wrap it. I do it. I, I, I wrap presents terribly, um, but that's the projector housing, of course. And then you got the speaker and the FM transmitter. So this will be playing Thanksgiving stuff up until Thanksgiving. And then I don't know if this is the final, final resting place of it because I have the snow globe and then I've also got the hallusion material i don't know if i'm going to do the hallusion material because if i do it'd be over there um i don't know if i'm going to do it or not because it didn't really work out. i don't have a bright enough projector to do it right so i think i'm just going to have because this will have movies and car carolers on it like before so this this may actually stay here or i may move it over there and then put the snow globe right here put it like off to the side or i don't know we'll we'll figure that out but um I would love to make, I would love to put back there, get one of those inflatable projection screens and get a, and get a really nice projector and project the movies and stuff right onto that. Um, just back there in that dark corner. Cause I can turn off the, the Govi lights in that corner back there. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to hook, hook up the projector to this right now and get the files put on it and hook up all the cords and start playing stuff tonight. Got I got I got to put the sign back out. We had a very windy day, as you can tell. I've got to put, <laughs> even though, yeah, it's very. It was a very windy day today. It moved my whole. I'm having to reset this whole thing. Um, also, the earth is moving. Um, so one of the problems with <laughs> you can tell that it's all um one of the problems with this soil is it's clay and so it moves and it and it and it and it cracks and it expands and it contracts and all that and so what it ends up doing is it ends up moving the fence itself um so yeah i have to come back out here pretty often and, and fix it like that one that one back there is all moved over so there's the remnants of what i had to do to make this Oh, so <clears throat> I'm in the process of attaching the letters to the thing. Um, if you notice, there are two letters in here that look a little bit different than the others. That's because they're 3D printed. Yep. The T and the S. Yeah, they are 3D printed um, because they broke. Um, I also noticed that the N right there is broken. Uh, so I'm going to have to probably 3D print that at the end of the year. What I may actually do, and I really don't know if I want to, because I'm going to attach these with shoe glue, um, and, th and toothpicks, um, 
and maybe I'll just do toothpicks. I don't know. Let's try it with toothpicks first. Um, but anyways, if I do it with the glue and I rip that off, I'll have to repaint and retexture this. So I may only 3D print them if they fall off or break. Um, the end, I, I didn't notice the end was broken or I would have had that 3D printed too. But um, this is actually the um, Grinch font from uh, the Dr. Seuss Grinch. Um, and yeah, it says Scare Hollow, and then the and then the numbers will be inside there. Um, they're currently drawing right now. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna do that. I think I, I think I am just gonna use the toothpicks. And see, no, because then that ends up coming up through the front. Yeah, I'll have to use I'll have to use uh, glue. So trial and error. All right, here's the daytime view of it. I think it's actually on I can't tell but and then here's the nighttime yeah